we need to do leak down tests on the engine. We usually remove the engine to do that, but we can do it on the car as well, if we have room and we are very educated to do it. In order to do a leak down test in our engine, we need two tools. We need a tool we need to have to turn the engine and we need the leak down tester. This one can be any different brand. They all do the same job. I just want to show you with this cheap tool from Amazon how you can actually do it. We remove all the spark plugs and after we remove all the spark plugs, we try to find the dob sender. When we install the tool here, the engine, when it's moving, we are actually pushing the air out of the piston. So this is the only way the air can go out when the valve is closed. So now when you go to turn the engine, this is the simplest way. You can actually find the top sender if you have marked your pulley or with a lot of other different ways. Some people put screwdrivers, but this is the way you cannot hurt the valves, you cannot hurt the pistons, and is the easiest way you can find. So we're gonna go to turn the engine clockwise and we're gonna hear the air to coming out. When that happens and the air starts coming out, you feel it in your ear and you hear it in your ear. That's why I put it on my ears. I don't know if I can make that noise so you can hear it. It's a blowing air coming out. When this air stops, the moment the air stops, we are dead top center. When that's happening, we get in the tool and we connect it to the other side of this tool on the hose and we're gonna need now to take an air hose for even small comple compressor still working you don't need to have the perfect uh, equipment we're gonna connect it here and we're gonna start to apply air on the tool when we apply air we actually pressurize the cylinder between the pistons and the heads the valves is closed, everything is closed. How are we gonna find where the air coming out? It's very simple. We're gonna use our ears again and hear from where the air is coming out. It's three ways and I can explain you exactly how you can find that, it's super easy. And we apply some air and we hear the air coming out. If the air coming out for the rings, you're gonna hear it from here. You're gonna put your hand in your valve cover and you're gonna hear the air coming out. If your air coming out for the exhaust valves, you're gonna hear it for the exhaust port. You're gonna put your hand here and your ear here and you're gonna hear it. If the air coming out for the intake, that means the intake valve. These are the three things you can actually lose air and that's how you know if your cylinder is ready to go for next year.